Hi again. Okay, uh, I guess uh, to, to a couple of things happened, so that's why I decided to do another video. Uh, first of all, the temperature dropped uh, significantly at night in the last two days. Actually, the whole day today was quite cold, so near the window, the temperature was dropping to 76 or lower, so I decided to move them uh, near the the plant light. Uh, uh, the bright thing here. Okay, so anyhow, as you can see here, the temperature is a little warmer than, than the I was uh, in the window, so it's around 78, uh, trade in between 78 and 80. Anyhow, so there is another reason, so I wanted to mention this. Okay, so these are uh, the sea monkeys of the orange, uh, the company's uh, shilling and the sea monkeys from the company Big Time Toys. Uh, I don't know if she's still... I think there is at least one with uh, X in here. I don't see her right now. But anyhow, it's, that is not the main issue. This one's still small and no X. Oh yes, I forgot to say that these two at this point are 26 days since I uh, hatched the eggs. Uh, this guy is the original colony uh, from Chilling also, from the company Chilling. And it has been 36 days, I believe. Okay, so now this is what it impressed me. This are the let me see if i can get yeah you can see the the volume of how many this is the start of the fourth day of the aqua dragons the quantity uh, of the babies as you can see they have grown uh, better angle and a better focus come on focus that's better and you can see the huge quantity of just one bag of eggs uh, although I don't know if all of them will grow uh, the same level level as the sea monkeys uh, the aqua dragons are that I don't recall having seen so many of either of the sea monkeys aquariums uh, in the fourth day so anyhow I wanted to report on that as you can see there are a lot of them anyhow uh, what I also as a lesson learned uh, I have been trying to keep them between 76 and 87 degrees so that might have been also in their benefit. And uh, I have been aviating them. Uh, they recommend at least for two weeks. You want to aviate or oxygenate uh, the aquariums. And uh, also because effectively since I was testing how many scoops uh, once a week with the sea monkeys and destruction of the aqua dragon says one small scoop each other day I noted that effectively it's almost the same as feeding them uh, the number of scoops uh, to the sea dragons once a week than to the sea monkeys so what I will be doing is trying one small scoop of each uh, of their kind food to uh, the sea monkeys and the sea dragons. So let me go first with the 
the dragons and levels more good. Okay, come on, focus. There we go. Sorry, I'm still learning to, to focus this. Small scoop with a scoop of the provided by the aqua dragons. Okay, so now we change to the simon piece food with the scoop provided by shilling, and now we provide them also. That's better. Okay, so it's not perfect, but I think it's the best that we can uh, focus. Maybe if I move this way a bit, don't fall off. Try to focus. Uh, looks like I cannot. Maybe if I get. Anyhow, okay, so one small scoop provided by the company Chilling. Since they are supposed to be similar, I'm providing the same to the big time toys. Uh, uh, three monkeys. Although I'm not sure if it's a good idea. Uh, one small scoop each the other day for this one because the aquarium is smaller, but more or less the quantity of three monkeys is the same. So I will be monitoring that. And lastly. Second aquarium from Chilling. Uh, let me see if I can focus on something. Uh, well, anyhow, here's the last one. So we will be trying one little scoop of the corresponding company's little scoops each other day. And as I said, I'm quite impressed uh, by the not bad I think the last time was better anyhow as you can see, there is a lot of them. Let's see how how, how many reach uh, adults. Okay. See you later, everyone.